So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in Z W Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's well, so up, YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr War Games. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys two free card combos using these free cards that can end e on either your OTK board of your Synchro XCs and your link to just OTK your opponent, and the what I call the Go First board, which is a unkillable Alpha Max and a quantum dragon if you open up with a combination of these three cards here your balance the lord your chi chi and either doshin or hiari you can end on this board so starting off with i'm going to show you the otk board you normal summon your balance or about pay balance or effect for a thousand and normal summon additional cyber so we're going to summon our right, chi chi the chi chi is going to add us the picari Next, we're going to, since we control an at Ignis the monster, we can special summon the Doshin. A Hiari shares the same effect, so long as you control an at Ignis, you can freely special summon it. We're then going to link the Ichi Chi and the Balancer Lord into our Wicked, and this is when we link the Doshin into Lingribo. This is going to trigger the Cyburst Wicked to, ban to banish the Balancer Lord. And add us the Budu to hand. This will trigger Balance of Lords. Since it was banished, you can now special summon one level 4 lower monster from your hand. So we're going to special summon the Picari. And we're going to use Picari's effect to add islands to hand. We can then link these two off into Transcode and then just use Transcode to revive the Wicked. The reason for this is that you do want to have the attack buff from Transcode when you're trying to do your OTK, as this is the OTK board. We then link into our Dark Templar, which then we can activate the island and use island's effect as special Buru. This will trigger Templar to revive Picari and your Achichi. can then tune these two into either Quantum or Wind Pegasus depending on which board you're going off against. I'm just going to go off the idea that we're facing just a lot of monsters as usual boards are. So I'm just going to make Quantum. Boo will then revive Picari. Picari can now use this effect to make Achichi level 4. And you overlay these two into your like Dragon. Standard. OTK board with just using those three cards. There's probably a lots of other ways to do it. There's lots of ways to do it to be honest. Like it, at Ignis, this is that's probably one of its best traits is that there's a lot of ways to do the same combo. There's a lot of ways to get around certain scenarios, and that's why it's just so powerful. Um, in my personal opinion, this is just a board that in testing I came up across, and I just wanted to really show a balance a lot as well because. A lot of the decks are playing this card, but they don't properly explain why they're using it. Heck, even I fell down that rabbit hole, so I do apologise for that. But in just in testing is when Balance of Lord really does shine. Um, this is one of the main reasons why I think Balance of Lord is so good, and that you at least have to play him as a tool. I'm taking in something else in the deck, which you will see down in a profile later down the line. Um, I do more further testing to get a lot more plays in. Probably after my next local or two, I'll show off the profile because this has just been small tweaks, small tech changes. Heck, even I might just do a, a Ignista tech video. I think that could be pretty cool. Just to show you some personal techs that I've either tried myself or encountered in other videos and profiles. But um, enough rambling on. I'm going to show you now the Avro Max combo. You can probably see how it's going to be done um, just from seeing this one, as it pretty much has similar patterns, which is really cool. Because I feel like once you've found that pattern, you can pretty much just turn any hand into the combo, which is really cool. So 
Normal Balance Law, pay a thousand, summon a Chi Chi. A Chi Chi as Bikari. A special summon Dosh in. Link these two off. Into Wicked. Link Dosh in off. Into Lingaribo. Uh, Wicked, Balance is Balance the Lord. To add Boo. Which then balance the Lord triggers and summons Bikari. Bikari triggers and adds Island. Now this is when it just slightly changes, just ever so slightly. It's not too much of a change. But since we now already control three monsters and we're just going first, we don't exactly need to play Transco. This Transco we can just keep in the extra and use them as an extender for later on. We can now just straight away link these three off. Into our beloved Templar. And now we can activate Island and use Islands to special summon Boo. Boo will just send whatever if you want to, but the main point is to just trigger Templar. Templar revives Bikari and Achichi. Tune these two off into the Quantum. Boo revives Bikari. And then link these two off into IP, then link these two off into Aphromax. See, three cards can end on the same board. It's not two cards, but at least it means that when you don't open Picari, you can still perform the combos. Yes, there's many ways to get to Picari. We've got the free, like the minings and the GGs itself. But um, if you don't open with mining and you just open Picari, um a Chi Chi, you can still perform these combos, meaning that a Chi Chi is kind of more important <laughs> in certain scenarios, but it all depends on your text as well. There's other ways that you can perform this combo, you don't need the balance at all. Um heck you don't even need like the Doshin or Hiani. You can just perform this combo with you can perform this combo with Balance the Lord. I think he is important. Um, balance the Lord because you do get the free special off him. So the Balance the Lord, Achichi, and any form of extender. So it can be the Doshins and Hayaris to special summon themselves. It can be one of your revival cards. So any way that just gets that third monster on board to make the Link 1 afterwards, or no, just the third monster in general is very very important to trigger off the wicked once you trigger off the wicked it pretty much plays off itself you banish the balance lord you get this and that and this and that heck even your other personal texts which i will explain in another video i will think i will do that tech video um just because there's a lot of text that you can play in this deck i just like to share them off with you.